It is absolutely insane to me how many players struggle to make layups in games, and then when I ask them what they're doing to get better at making layups in games, they're doing stuff like this. The reason you're missing layups is the fact that you don't have the ability to focus on the finish. You're either preoccupied and focused on the defense or other things, not the finish, or you don't have the ability to maintain that focus at a high speed or in the air. So today, I'm gonna show you three drills that we use with all of our players that transform their ability to finish the game, and I promise you none of them are drills like that just take a quick moment to like and subscribe and then we're gonna get right into it all right every drill that I'm gonna show you is gonna be working on your ability to maintain focus on the finish doing drills like Mikan's as Alex was doing before right you have all day to locate and find the rim but when it comes to the game right you only have a split second or you've got to deal with going up and around a defense so I want to do drills that require a quick rate of focus So Alex is starting here with 90 degree turn layups. These are very easy for him, show him a couple more, right? Now, he's only got that time in the air to locate and find that spot where he needs to put the ball to make a successful attempt. Now, we start with this, and as soon as that gets easy, it's so simple to make more challenging. We just turn and we do 180 finishes. So now we're here. Oh, see, this is where we're at. Now let's let him find this, he's turning. He has a quick second in the air to find the spot he needs to put that ball and do it. Good, now, when that gets easy, again, all we have to do is turn a little bit further. Now he's at, I believe, 270 degree rotation into the finish. So, make a couple there. Good, good, one more. Good, now when he's got that, we're gonna go to full 360, turn in the air. Good, good, make a couple more. Full 360, turn in the air. Now, if you ever actually watch Alex play in the game, he's phenomenal at finishing around the basket because he's got the ability to finish. He's got that ability because he works on things like this where he's forced to have a quick rate of focus. So, start with this drill. You're gonna start, as we showed, with 90 degree turns. Once that gets easy, you go to 180. Once that gets easy, you go to 270. And once that gets easy, you go to full 360. If you wanna take it one step further, you can go all the way out and work on complete 360 laps with a full approach finish. I've been around basketball for a long time and I see something in common among all players who struggle to finish in the game. It's as they're attacking the basket, most of their focus is on the guy guarding them. It is on the defender, right? That can't happen. If all my focus is here, how can I possibly, right, make a layup? So what these drills teach players is to maintain their focus on the finish while that defense is present. That doesn't mean we don't see the defense. It doesn't mean we can't manipulate the ball or move around the defense because we can catch that out of our peripherals. I'm looking up here, but I can still see Alex with my vision locked in on the finish. And that's how Kyrie and these guys are able to get up and create around the defense because they're catching the defense out of their peripherals. So this next drill we use is simply to get you better at focusing on the finish when there's an obstacle present. I understand you might not have another person to go against. So for today, we're just gonna use these two cones. You can feel free to use shoes or any type of object that you want. You can challenge it by increasing the size of the object, but today we're gonna use two cones for Alex and he's simply gonna take off over the cones and finish. So you see this is getting very easy for Alex. So what we can do is mix up the takeoffs and the locations. So now Alex, we're gonna move this over here. You're gonna take off two feet, jump over the cones and then finish. That's still too easy for Alex. So I'm just constantly finding ways to challenge my players. So to challenge him, I'm gonna move these way out here. I'm not overly concerned with what foot he's taking off or his approach footwork. I'm just concerned with making sure that there's a challenge present. You're probably like, you're never gonna do this in a game, but imagine if you had the ability to take off from this far, jump over an object in a game. When you train at a level like this that is more challenging than anything that you're gonna see in a game, when you get in the game and you're going for a simple layup, it's gonna be a lot easier to finish because your level of training was so much more difficult than what you're seeing in the game. So we don't put an end to this. We just keep challenging him and challenging him more and more. My top guys can take off from outside the three-point line and finish. Let's see what Alex has today with this. The beauty with this is not only are you gonna get better at finishing in the game, you're actually gonna become more athletic because you're taking off from further and further away. So you're gonna see an increase in bounce also. 
It's important that you work all the different plants. So off your left foot, off your right foot, left, right, right, left. You can change the implements that you're jumping over. You can change the speed at which you're taking off. You can change locations on the court. You can do this all over the place. The more options that you end up training, the more options you're gonna have in the game when it comes time to make a bucket. Hopefully that gave you some ideas of the level of challenge that we create for our players. Now it's your job to go create that level of challenge for yourself. Let's get into the third drill. So I try to create most of my content so somebody that's home that has no training partner can do, but I'd be lying if I told you the most beneficial thing you can do to get better at finishing is recreating the circumstances that you see in the game, which requires a live defense. So one of our favorite drills, we do it almost every single night in the gym, it gets the freaking energy through the roof, is a LeBron drill. We simply start at the baseline, we come atop, this could be a cone or anything, but it's a handoff, and then it's simply just a live play to the basket with a live defense. So let's do one rep of that real quick. Handoff on top. Live play to the basket. Hey. Let's see what the old guys got. I'm gonna go one rep here. Give me that. All right, so now you gotta get off your butt. You gotta get on the court. You gotta work on your spin finishes. You gotta work on jumping over an object and try to find a partner so you can get some live work. And I guarantee you're gonna start making a lot more layups in the game because you improved your rate of focus. And if you're looking for an entire system that is built to challenge you and get you better in the game, we have the Good Drills app. It is all the strength training you need. It is literally everything that we could possibly provide to make you a dominant hooper on the court where it matters. So click the link in the description below.